Hallelujah. So back in 2017, I was riding down the highway listening to this marvelous praise by Prince David. And I thought to myself, how do I know that I belong to Yahuwah? <coughs> well, from there, this song, prayer, poem began to well up in my ruach. Now, I'm not a great singer, but I'm working on being a willing vessel. So please be blessed as I share this testimony, choosing obedience over embarrassment. All praise to Yahuwah. Forgive me if I mess up. I've stumbled, see my share strife and life's troubles. You brought me through each and every time that I realize it's you and my faith doubles. The bright of my life. Heart of the fire. I see time, this world, my flesh, trying to keep me in some mess. That's how I know. That's how I know. That's how I know. through a storm or two, but in the end, my path always leads right back to you. I lost my way, the choices led me astray, had to pray my way out, bleed the blood, cry fast and shout. Your word is my power. 
my prayers are heard. Resisting temptation to entertain procrastination. Cause I'm a foreigner in this land. Now I understand. Curse is a blessing. Deuteronomy 28 shows us the record straight. 2 Chronicles 7 and 14 tells us what we need to do with being redeemed. He spread us across the four corners of this land. Light the way for every girl, boy, woman, and man. That's how I know. Never left me, always faithful and true. And if I just trust in me, I can make it through. For it is written, if my people upon whom my name is called shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face, and turn from their evil ways, then I shall hear from the heaven and forgive their sin and heal their land. Second Chronicles 7:14. I repent of my sins and that of all of our people since our generation began. I will trust in Yahuwah with all of my heart and lean not on my own understanding. I will know you in all of my ways. In my path, you make strength. That's how I know. Blessed is the man who shall not walk in the counsel of the wrong, and shall not stand in the path of the sinner, and shall not sit in the seat of the scoffer. But his delight is in the Torah of Yahuwah, and he meditates in his door and Torah day and night. For he shall be as a tree planted by the rivers of water that yields its fruit in the season, and whose leaves does not wither, and whatever he does prospers. The wrong are not so, but are like the chaff which the wind blows away. Therefore the wrong shall not rise in the judgment, nor the sinner in the congregation of the righteous. For Yahuwah knows the way of the righteous, but the way of the sick wrong come to naught. Keep my mind stayed on thee. That's how I know. And when I pass through the waters, you are with me. And when I pass through the rivers, they do not sleep over me. And when I've been through the fire, I wasn't scorched or burned. Through all these things and more, you kept me on my path back to you. That's how I know. When I face my Goliath sins and tests, it wasn't my own strength that allowed me to stand, but you, O oh Yahuwah, go before me, order my steps, and carry me through. That's how I know. Oh, and in my time of trouble, Yahuwah, you are my refuge, my shield, my fortress, and my strength. And I will praise you with my whole heart, body, and mind. And I will tell of all of your marvelous works, for I am glad and rejoice in your salvation. I sing praises to your Kodesh name, for you, O Yahuwah, have not forsaken those who seek you and call upon your mighty name. Hallelujah. That's how I know. But on this path to righteousness for his name's sake, we have to walk through the valley of the shadow of death and beauty. But I fear no evil, for my shepherd is with me, and your rod and your staff comfort me, as you anoint my head with oil while preparing a table before me in the presence of my enemies. That's how I know. 
and because blessed is the man who endure trials, I know that if I hold on to you, I'll get my crown. I understand now. My path always led right back to you. For I am not my own. I have been bought and paid for. So I stay bowed at the throne as I have been marked and made sure. Blessed is he who comes in the name of Yahuwah. For I do not proclaim myself, but Messiah, Yahusha Hamashiach, the one in whom you are well pleased, the only begotten son, the precious lamb, wonderful, counselor, mighty, everlasting, prince of peace. That's how I know. Because of you, O Yahuwah, and your power, though we are troubled on every side, we are not distressed. Though we are perplexed, we are not in despair. Though we are persecuted, we are not forsaken. Though we are cast down, we are not destroyed. Hallelujah! But always bearing about in the body the dying of the Master Yahusha, that the life of Yahusha may also be manifested in our body. So on this path, I accept the resurrection to receive the right. I accept the loss to receive the light. I accept the chastening to receive the crown. I accept the jokes to receive the joyful sound. I accept the test to receive the testimony. I accept the most high, not the idol of money. I accept the struggle to receive the song. I accept the hate to receive a heart like the young. I accept the weariness to receive the waters that live. I accept the scars to receive the salvation. I accept the pressure to receive the peace. I accept the viciousness to receive the victory. I accept the persecution to receive the prize. I accept the scorn to receive and be sanctified. I accept the ridicule to receive the righteousness. I accept his yoke to receive Yah's best. I accept the humility to receive the humble ways. I accept the brokenness to receive the better days. I accept the rudeness to receive the reward. I accept the scriptures to receive the sword. I accept the tears to receive the truth. I accept this path to receive the proof. I accept the blame to receive the blood that wins. I accept the work to receive the words, well done, good and faithful servant. Come on in. And having the same Ruach of belief according to what was written, I believe, therefore I spoke. We also believe, therefore we also speak, knowing that he who raised up the master Yahusha shall also raise us up through Yahusha and shall present us too. How then can we cease from thanksgiving and praise when we know that our Redeemer lives, defeating death, and we shall as well. Therefore, we do not lose heart but have renounced the secret ways of shame, not walking in craftiness, nor falsifying the word of Elohim, but by the manifestation of truth, recommending ourselves to every human consciousness in the sight of Elohim. And again I say, we do not lose heart. Even though our outward man is perishing, the inward man is being renewed day by day. For this slight momentary pressure is working for us a far more exceeding and everlasting weight of esteem. So we are not looking on what is seen, but on what is not seen. For what is seen passes away, but what is not seen is everlasting. Therefore, I will run this race like I'm going to win. Endure, pray, and sing praise to the end. So stand, y'all's children. We must turn away from sin. Follow the narrow path back to him. For our Abba Father, Yah, is at hand. On many past occasions and in many different ways, Yahuwah spoke to our fathers through the prophets. But in these last days, he has spoken to us by his son, whom he appointed heir of all things and through whom he made the ages. The sun is the radiance of Yahuwah's glory and the exact representation of his nature, upholding all things by his powerful word. After he, had proved, after he had provided purification for sins, he sat down at the right hand of the majesty on high. So he became as far superior to the angels as the name he has inherited is excellent beyond theirs. For to which of the angels did Elohim ever say, You are my son, today I have become your father? 
Or again, I will be his father and he will be my son. And again, when Yahuwah brings his firstborn into the world, he says, let all Yah's angels worship him. Now, about the angels, he says, he makes his angels winds and his servants flames of fire. But about the sun, he says, your throne, O Elohim, endures forever and ever, and your justice is the scepter of your kingdom. You have loved righteousness and hated wickedness. Therefore, Elohim, your Elohim has appointed you above your companions with the oil of joy. And in the beginning, O Yahuwah, you laid the foundations of the earth, and the heavens are the works of your hands. They will perish, but you remain. They will all wear out like a garment. You will roll them up like a robe, like a garment. They will be changed. But you remain the same, and your years will never end. Yet to which of the angels do Yahuwah ever say, Sit at my right hand until I make your enemies a footstool of your feet? Are not the angels ministering spirits sent to serve those who will inherit salvation? We must pay closer attention, therefore, to what we have heard, so that we do not drift away. For if the message spoken by the angels was binding, and every transgression and disobedience received is just punishment, how shall we escape if we neglect such a great salvation? This salvation was first announced by the Master, was confirmed to us to tho by those who heard him, and was affirmed by Yahuwah through signs, wonders, various miracles, and gifts of the Ruach HaKadosh distributed according to his will. For it is not to the angels that he has subjected the world to come about which we are speaking, but it is somewhere it is testified in these words. What is man that you are mindful of him, or the son of man that you care for him? You made him a little lower than the angels. You crowned him with glory and honor and placed everything under his feet. When Yahuwah subjected all things to him, he left nothing outside of his control. Yet at the present time, we do not see everything subjected to him. But we see Yahusha, hallelujah, who was made a little lower than the angels, now crowned with glory and honor because he suffered death so that by the grace of Yahuwah, he might taste death for everyone. In bringing many sons to glory, it was fitting for Yahuwah, for whom and through whom all things exist, to make the author of their salvation perfect through suffering. For both the one who sanctifies and those who are being sanctified are the same family. So Yahusha is not ashamed to call them brothers. He says, I will proclaim your name to my brothers, and I will sing your praises in the assembly. And again, I will put my trust in him. And once again, here I am in the children Yahuwah has given me. Now, since the children have flesh and blood, he too shared in their humanity, so that by his death he might destroy him who holds the power of death, that is, the devil, and free those who all of their lives were held in slavery by their fear of death. For surely, it is not to the angels he helps, it is not the angels he helps, but the descendants of Abraham. For this reason, he had to be made like his brothers in every way, so that he might become a merciful and faithful high priest in the service to Yahuwah, in order to make atonement for the sins of the people. Because he himself suffered when he was tempted, he is able to help those who are being tempted. Hallelujah. And that's how I know. You are the most high. Your love I cannot deny. You are the most high. You chose me. I don't need to know why. You are the most high. On your wings alone I am able to fly. You are the most high. For you and your son, I will gladly die. Hallelujah. All glory, honor, and praise to the Most High Yahuwah, because that's how I know.